I'm Paul Giusto, I'm Head of Faculty of Design Technology and uh, welcome to our presentation. Hopefully you'll find it useful uh, to guide you through possible choices for picking A-level design technology. Uh, there are three members of staff, myself, Miss Hill and Mr McKittrick. Um, we're all specialists within design and technology, uh, experienced and in all honesty we have an experience of getting on for 60 years of teaching design and technology. We use Edexcel, Design Technology, Product Design. Uh, the code is 9DTO, and you'd be well advised to have a look at their website, which will cover the specification. The course emphasises uh, design of products. It focuses upon creativity and sustainability, problem solving and project management. The outcomes are both theoretical and practical. Choosing a course allows a wider knowledge of design, an awareness of products and an opportunity to demonstrate your creativity. In the lower SIC we cover the majority of the theory element. We also set a variety of projects for students to engage in um, and these are a foundation for the upper SIC for CEST coursework. Within these we extend the knowledge of materials, construction, generation of ideas, model making, third party feedback and evaluation. In the upper six, students engage in an independent project. This is worth 50% of the final assessment. At the end of the course, there is a two and a half hour theory exam that makes up the other 50% of the award. The course supports product design, architecture, industrial design, and all fields of engineering. It also supports many other careers via time management, problem solving skills, and manipulative skills. We have links with various outside bodies, Arkwright Scholarship, Small Peace Trust and also STEM activities and these allow uh, for further experience and also university applications. And now some examples of our pupils work. The examples of graphic work show hand and CAD drawing and effective communication is encouraged. For me, the practical act outcomes are the best part, and I'd like to show you a few examples. A drinks cabinet for a corporate environment. A fully functioning mechanical clock for the library. A chessboard coffee table and storage, which is modular and allows a variety of uses. An electronic skateboard with a theoretical 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds all controlled by hand. Bluetooth high speaker, hi-fi speakers with an architectural element. A barbecue table for outdoor living. A flat pack chair. An engineer's lathe. A Coke can dispenser for the fridge. A workspace for the office environment. A machine router to cut mouldings in timber to match architecture and historical buildings, a desk for the reception of school, outdoor seating and a medley of other products.